What's up y'all? So in today's video, we will learn how to create a load more button that will load a specific amount of data from an array of objects, or in our case, this API that gave us an array of objects. This is the API that we're going to be working with. It's a random user generator. And if I were to click this button right down here that says load five more, it will load five more people and add them into our list that was already previously there. So now we have a total of 10 people. Now if I do another five, another five, all the way to the end, we'll see that we have a total of 36 people. All right, so now I'm in my code editor. I have a React app made and started up. If you don't have one made or don't know how to start it up, all you have to do is npx create-react-app and the name of the app. Now, if you don't know how to start it up, it's just npm start inside of the master directory. All right, now I'm just gonna get rid of this terminal. We don't need that. Actually, we do need it. Let me reopen it up. So I'm going to cd into my directory. And the first thing that I'll do is install all of our dependencies that we'll need for this to work. So I'll do npm i, i short for install, axios, bootstrap, and react bootstrap. So we're going to actually create, we're going to use the card available to us from react bootstrap. And while that's installing, I'm going to go ahead and open up my source folder and go into my index.js file and inside of the import I will do import quotes oops quotes bootstrap slash dist slash CSS slash bootstrap dot min dot CSS and that'll import everything we need. Alright so I'm gonna just minimize my terminal. We don't need it since I've already started up the app and I'm gonna go ahead go into my app.js file and instead of this file I will go ahead and import all the things that we're going to need. So with React, curly braces, I need to use effect and I need use state. And underneath that, I'll import a button and a card from React Bootstrap. And last but not least, I'll import Axios from Axios. And I'll save that. All right, cool. So now we're going to create our use state variables and get our data from the API. So to do that, instead of my const app right here, I'll just do const card data and set card data is equal to use state and empty array. And next I'll do const visible and set visible is equal to use state and we'll just show five results at a time. And underneath all of this, I'll create a function to grab our data from the API. So const all card data is equal to async curly brace arrow function. Const response is equal to await axios.get and it goes HTTPS colon double slash random user dot me slash api slash question mark results is equal to 36 let's go with 35 so this will grab us random users from the api and give us at least 35 results and to access the actual data from the response i'll do set card data so we'll set the card data to be response dot data dot results and that'll give us all the results from all 36 uh, results. All right, now let's go ahead and create our function that is going to be responsible for loading more data every time we click the load more button. So right underneath my all data, oh, oops, I must just say all card data. There we go. All right, now right underneath my all card data function, I'll do const load more is equal to curly brace error function set visible to be visible plus five. And underneath this, I'll make a use effect with an empty array block at the end. And I will just trigger our all card data function inside of here. Cool. All right, so now I'm gonna be creating our render card function that's gonna be responsible for creating our individual cards. So underneath my use effect, I'll just do const render card is equal to, I'll give the parameters of person and index, arrow function, curly braces, and I'll just return 
I'll just copy and paste it. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below for where you can actually copy and paste this uh, card from. And so what I'm going to do, all right, so I've already also implemented all the areas that we're going to use, what we're going to use. So I did source person.picture large, so it's going to get us the large picture of the person, their first name and last name, email, cell, and gender. And let's get rid of this button. We don't actually need that. And since we already imported here and that's the only place we use it, we can get rid of that as well. All right, so now what we're going to do is slice our card data use state variable and map over our render card. So I'll get rid of this h2 that says component and I'll use curly braces. I'll just do card data dot slice at zero and visible. Visible, there we go. And also map render card and let's save it. Let's see if this actually is working. There we go. Now we have approximately five people, one, two, three, four, and five. Now let's go ahead and create our button that's going to load all the other people. So right underneath that curly brace, I'll just make a visible is less than card data dot length. And here is where we're going to render our button. So button, I'll just do load five more. So load five more people on click is equal to load more. And now if I save that, and if we go to the very bottom, we will see a load more button. I click it, and now we're gonna get five more people, another five, all the way up to 35. All right, so that concludes all of the programmatic stuff that we need for the tutorial. Let's go ahead and edit some CSS, and we can look a little bit better. So what I'll do is before adding any CSS, I will put this inside of its own div instead of two div tags so I'll do one to be class name wrapper and I'll create another div tag and give it the class name of cards and I'll just put this instead of oops I'll put the map instead of there and instead of the CSS of itself I will target the app class name first give it a background color of hashtag two six uh, a 69 a padding bottom I'll give it 2 em padding top I'll give it 2 em and I'll target cards max width at 1200 pixels margin 0 auto display grid grid cap We'll do one REM. Underneath that, I will do a at media min width. Give it 600 pixels. And I'll target the class name cards for this one. Give it a grid template columns. Repeat two comma one FR. And I'll just copy this and I'll paste it one more time and instead of doing 600 pixels we will do 900 and instead of doing 2 we will do 3 and I'll save that let's see how that looks now cool now we got some sort of grid happening and if I were to click this button it'll show five more people and another five all the way up to 35 Cool, so that concludes this tutorial. I hope that it helps you out. And remember that if you are grabbing API data, as long as it's an array of objects or array of elements, as, well, as long as it's an array, it should work. If not, you can always destructure it to make it an array, and then it can work. And uh, if this did help you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.